new Kemp Fane, and I just know that Harold is beside himself um, carrying on this tradition from Kemp. And I see that in Harold taking um, cues from Kemp and saying, okay, this is where we need to go. And we're not there, but we're almost. Don Phillips called Harold the Dean of Financial Planning. And he's not only a brilliant professor, a great teacher, he inspires us, he inspires us all, he can walk the walk, and he makes a bow tie look really cool. Well, Harold and Dina have established a great financial planning practice. He's written a lot of illuminating work, so he has advanced the profession in every way possible. His firm uh, funded lots of folks to go to the, uh, what was the ICFP and then the FPA's residency program, so he contributed a lot to the education and training of uh, his staff. Well, I'm definitely lucky to have Harold and very privileged uh, to be able to work with him every day and learn from the best. And it's an even bigger deal to call him a best friend. Yeah, I think, I think what Harold's provided the most is mentorship, you know, through his years. So everyone knows how much he's provided himself in terms of intellectual capital. And, uh, but what really fits with me, because I was a mentee of his and still am, uh, but the amount of people he's touched uh, to make them better financial planners throughout the years. He challenges me to think. I like to think anyway, but he pushes that even further. I was a PhD student at Texas Tech. The first thing he said is, I'm not gonna treat you as students, I'm gonna treat you as employees, so you'll know what, what you are going to expect in the job market. So at that time, we were not very happy about that, but later on, we appreciate all these experiences. He is profoundly intelligent, he's a deep thinker, and he's also always heartful. He is the heart and soul of the profession. He's a 300 IQ. He's so smart, he's so wonderful and lovely, and he is just a nutty professor. Congratulations, Harold. You're a great mentor, a great friend, and no one deserves this better. There's a, a Yiddish word called beshert, or besherta, which means soulmate. And uh, while I had my own practice in Chicago, when I met Harold, we realized we were each other's Beshert and Besherta. And he's never let me forget that. And every time I say, you know, gee, would you do it again? He always says, absolutely. Uh, the profession and you, in that order. Hmm. <laughs>